In this quick tutorial, we're going to show you how to do a software and firmware update and how to calibrate your faders on the Icon QCOM Pro, the QCOM Pro X and the Platform M MIDI door controllers. With the constant development and updates of operating systems and doors, it's so important to install the latest version of software and firmware and to recalibrate your faders as it helps to optimize performance and the functionality of your Icon Pro Audio controller. In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate the updates using the Icon QCOM Pro X, but it's the same process for the original Icon Pro and the new Platform M. You first need to download the updated software and firmware, which you can do by heading over to IconProAudio.com. Click Downloads, and if you're updating the QCOM Pro or Platform X and can't see the link under Control Surfaces, just click on See All 17 Articles to get the full list of the controllers. But as I said, we're updating the QCOM Pro X, which you can see here. Now, download the IMAP software. Note as we record this that the Mac firmware and software is not yet available, uh, but we're expecting it very soon. Once downloaded, go back to the page and download the latest firmware. Of course, noting exactly where you've saved your downloads. Now locate your downloads and extract the software zip file. You will then see another zip file, which again you need to extract. Once you've done this, browse to the IMAP setup file and double click. This will now install the software update. And as you can see, the new software is now ready to go. We now need to upgrade the firmware on the QCOM Pro X. And remember, this is the same for the original Icon QCOM Pro and the Platform M. Go to your downloaded firmware file and extract it. And as you can see, I've extracted mine to my desktop. You then need to open the IMAP for the QCOM Pro X and Pro XS. Connect to the device by clicking Connect. A pop-up will then show you your present firmware version. Click OK, then click Firmware Upgrade on the panel at the bottom. Now before you click Start, it's important to remember that your controller must remain turned on. It could be damaged if you lose power or turn it off during the upgrade. Now click Start, and the pop-up should show the same firmware version on the MIDI in and out dropdowns. Click OK. Now click Request. Click OK on the pop-up. And next is MIDI Devices. Again, the dropdowns should be showing your present firmware version. Click OK. Now click Open File and go locate your new extracted firmware version. Select it and click Open. Then click Upgrade and the pop-up will then warn you not to interrupt the update. So click Go Ahead and just let it run. As you can see, this is now updating and your controller will show it as firmware upgrading. Now your firmware is updated, you need to restart the controller. Although it will only show for a split second, you should now see the updated firmware version come up in the screen when you reboot. I've just frozen the video here so you can see, but as I said, it will only show for a split second. Okay, so now you've updated your software and firmware, it's important to recalibrate your faders as this will optimize the faders performance. Now before you start, make sure your controller is turned off. Now turn your controller on while holding down the record button on channel 8. You'll then see the message Fader Touch Sensitivity Test and Calibration. You then slide each fader to the top and back and don't forget the master fader. Now reboot your controller and you're ready to go. For more tips, tech, tutorials and interviews, make sure you subscribe.